Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Place. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so ugh, of a game. Yeah! Ready, ready, ready? It's too much! Oh, I'm fine. Uh, today we are playing Descenders, which is a game that is uh, available as of today, actually. Uh, this game is brandy brand 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 new. In fact, oh god. Uh, in fact, uh, if you're watching this video as soon as it came out, then uh, this game has only been available for like an hour. Uh, it actually launched into Early Access today. Uh, we don't normally cover Early Access titles, but this one's far enough along and uh, also fun enough that uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this. I learned about Descenders a few months ago when I got an email from the devs. And uh, all it said was procedurally generated downhill biking game. And I was like, yep, I'm on board. That sounds awesome. I'm a huge fan of extreme sports titles. Uh, I love the Tony Hawk series. I love Skate. I, uh, I got to play Steep last year, and I thought Steep was really incredible as well. So, uh, yeah, this game was, like, right up my alley. And um, normally when I do first 20 videos, I show you the very beginning, um, my experiences with the game. But I did that video, and I decided, you know what? I'm actually going to start from having some level of experience so I can more properly explain the game. Um, I don't want to say that I was bad, but there's definitely a bit of a learning curve. And there's still a bit of a learning curve since I'm falling over on, uh, on picnic tables. Um, this game controls well, but uh, very interesting. You have a lot of control over your bike. Now, this is a computer game. I'm playing with an Xbox One controller. I believe you could use a um, you know, keyboard and mouse if you so you know, chose to do so, but I don't... I don't know why. I feel like it'd be a lot easier with a um, with a controller. Right trigger is accelerate. Left trigger is brake, as you might expect. You uh, move left and right with the left stick. Uh, the right stick does carves. It allows you to skid. Like if you get up to speed, you can do these little shenanigans. Obviously, if you hit something, your run will end, which is bad. The right stick is also how you do bunny hops, uh, which is very similar to skate. So you hold down to uh, to squat, and then you push up to do your bunny hop. Um, that's about it. That's really all you need to know. Um, you get points for doing various things, and uh, you can try and beat your scores. But that's not what the meat and potatoes of the game is. The meat and potatoes is procedurally generated. So when you press start here, and you go to ride, start new session, and uh, there's there's worlds to unlock. Uh, I have I'm at the beginning. Um, whenever you choose a world, it procedurally generates you a trail uh, of a particular style and a particular difficulty. Now, I've played through the first world, but I did it as a practice and not as the real thing, so it didn't save. Um, you, uh, after you've played for like eh, five or ten minutes, you'll uh, sign to one of three teams. From what I can tell, it doesn't affect anything really. It's just like cosmetic stuff. I went with the speed team because I wanted to go fast. Um, but I, you could go with anything. It felt very Pokemon Go like. Like you choose a, a team to, that you know you want to represent, but it doesn't really have any effect uh, on the game itself. So uh, before each course, uh, after it's generated, they'll do a little flyover. You can watch it if you want. You do not have to. And then your goal was to get to the bottom. Now, up in the top left, you'll see that there are... Uh, there's a four, and that is how many lives you have. Um, if you if you get hurt, then your run ends, uh, and you take uh, a damage, which means that you lose one of your lives. And that's not good, because uh, in order to unlock the different worlds, you need to get to the very, very end of this this Highlands world. So if I want to get to the next world, I got to get to the end of Highlands. Now you can earn additional lives by doing the bonus objective in the top right, which I was explaining stuff at the beginning, so it's no way I'm going to be able to do that. Um, everything else is just up to you. It's, it's not a race, and the game actually tells you that at points. It's like, hey, just do it at your own style, your own pace. So I'm just kind of chilling and relaxing, which is cool. Um, also, and this was... Uh, Probably not of use to many of you, but certainly of use to me and fellow content creators. The soundtrack is completely licensed for YouTube use, which means that you don't have to worry about the music playing in your Let's Plays and streams. You can let it play, and it's totally 
totally fine. Which I appreciate because it's great music, and it's very fitting for uh, what you're doing. Uh, so as I do things, I will be earning rep uh, for my team, Kinetic. And at the bottom, you'll see that I have, you know, 4,065 rep. And I'm assuming that once I get to 5,000, I earn more rep. Now, this is the Highlands world. That's what you're looking at now. When you load into Highlands, you start on the very left, and you're trying to eventually make your way all the way to the right to beat this boss level. If we beat that, we'll be able to unlock the second world, which is exciting. Um, now I can choose one of three paths to go to. I got Mellow Curvy Stunts. I've got Steep and Mellow Race. Um, personally, the steepness is really fun, so I'm going to go with Steep. And my bonus objective to earn an extra life is get five seconds of airtime. So that's what I'm going to be attempting to do, is to try and get at least five seconds of airtime. So once again, it gives me a flyover. This time I'm just going to skip it. I'll keep it kind of a surprise. But I want to continue to try and not die and, um, you know, earn extra lives. Because uh, sometimes you're going to find courses that are remarkably difficult. And uh, you want to you wanna live, man. You don't want to die. These checkered flags are checkpoints, so if you do crash, you at least start there and not at the very, very beginning. Although if you've already completed your bonus objective, you will have to re-complete it. So that's kind of bad. Also, the course is ending soon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get five seconds of airtime. Maybe. There we go. I'm up to two. How many more jumps are there? Hopefully enough. Nope. Hmm. So in order to get five seconds of airtime on this one, you'd probably have to be creative and actually go over, like, the hills and stuff. I could just turn around and do this. It should be fine. That's it. That's five seconds, and that counts. Now, it's not a big deal here because I can just ride off of the trail, but uh, I've been to the second world briefly in my practice session, and you can't go off the trail there because it's in the woods. <laughs> you go off the trail there, you will die. You'll break your bones. Now, this rep that goes up um, as we continue to earn you know, different reputation uh, can also go down. So if you, I, it, it goes down if you quit early, and I think it also goes down if you just perform poorly. So now that we've done this, we've unlocked another additional three that we can choose from. Mellow Curvy Stunts, uh, Mellow Straight Race, so that's a real easy one, and Stunts. Let's do Mellow Curvy Stunts and give myself a real challenge here. Bonus objective to get the life is two front flips. As long as I get pretty good jumps, I should be able to do that. That shouldn't be too difficult. When you're in the air, the left stick uh, adjusts you to be able to do front flips and back flips. The right stick does tweaks. So, like, if I jump up in the air, you can see I did a little tweak there. Careful. This looks fun. This is not a good spot to do a front flip, though. Oh, no! That was bad. See, the thing is, I don't even have to, um... I don't even have to do that. Like, I can just, I can just go around this. There's no penalty for that. Except that. Oh my god, they were hiding that rock. I've lost two lives. Son of a gun. I mean, I did choose a level that is, like, hard. So I I shouldn't be, like, super surprised. I need to do a jump here. There we go. That's better. Okay. Not enough speed to do a, uh, a front flip there. Careful. There's a jump coming up around the bend here. I want to at least make it to the boss in this world. Good stuff. All right, front flip. Okay. Was it stupid that I went for two? Yeah, it was stupid. But also, I wouldn't have made it anyway because I was just, I was going way too fast. I needed to slow it down there. So let's do my single front flip. That's one of them. Oh, shoot! Trees, lots of trees. Whoa, 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 whoa trees. I've already lost an embarrassing amount of lives on this level, so I need to be careful. All right, let's, let's line it up and do another front flip here. Not enough speed. Oh, God. And because I died, my uh, front flip counter resets. It's not good. It's not good. Why did I choose such a hard level? Front flip. Barely got it, but I got it. All right. If I can complete this without dying, um, then uh, I will get another life back. Even though I've lost lives trying to earn this life. This was a pretty hard level. Um, the tree section there in the middle made it difficult too because you couldn't leave the trail. 
But I'm good. I made it. I'm safe. That means that my my uh, my life will go up. Also, you do get a zero life. They call it last stand. So you you uh, I technically have three attempts. So from here, I can go two ways. I can do steep stunts or steep curvy stunts. I think I've learned my lesson. I'm going to turn the difficulty down a little bit and do steep stunts. My bonus objective to earn a life this time is do a 360 twice. Sure. I can do that. So this one's going to be pretty steep. I need to focus on doing the 360 and then not losing. Right, here we go. Boom. There's my first 360. And my second 360. All right, I'm, I'm safe at this point. But this is steep. This is very steep. So I need to be careful. I don't want to leave the trail too much. I can also break. No shame in breaking. It is not a race. I want to make sure I can survive until the end and get my extra life. There we go. Nice. The problem with me, I was the kid that, uh, you know, when I played Mario Brothers when I was younger, um, growing up, like I had to hold run. All the time. And it was like that when I played with my dad, Super Mario Brothers. And it was like that whenever I played Super Mario World when I was a little bit older. Like, I, I had to hold run. I had to go fast. Um, and it's bad because I want to hold acceleration, but I know if I do, I will I will eat the dirt. And that's not a good idea. I do get an extra health, though, so I'm up to three. So now, boss level. Survive the boss jump. Now, I did do this in practice. The boss jump is actually pretty friggin' sweet. I'm going to let the flyover show you exactly what it is. Now, after that point, though, when we move to the next world... Um, I have not gotten any further than that. I don't. I don't think I managed to beat the first level of the of the second world. Um, and it's pretty difficult. It is when you start when you first start the game. There's a little tutorial that teaches you how to play, but it's not until you get through the first world that it it tells you you've got some advanced tips that you can you can learn. You can learn about pumping, which is where you uh, are basically pressing. Um, there's pumping and counter pumping where you're pressing like against the ground to ensure that you are um, gathering speed and things like that. So you can see there's a big jump that goes over a freaking train, and it's super neat. And uh, I'm gonna try and and get this now. You, survive the boss jump is the bonus objective here, and that is actually how you earn the second world. So if we don't do that, you know, it's 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 an optional objective, but really it's not. Um, we I'm assuming that if we didn't do that, we would just end Highlands and keep our rep, but we wouldn't unlock the next area. Woo! All right, we're doing good. Try not to, try not to risk too much right now. Nice little jump. Oh no! Whoa! 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 I did a stoppy, and that was, uh, that was not on purpose. All right, gaining some serious speed. I think I'm. Yep. 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 Yeah. I. So, you saw I was going real fast. In the bottom right corner, you saw that uh, there was a hazard sign flashing. That signifies big drop, which you may remember from uh, maybe some of the earlier Tony Hawk games. So, I'm going to try and slow it down a little bit here and then gain some more speed. There we go. Is that... Yeah, I'm going to make it. All right, there we go. I survived the boss jump. I earned one health because I did the objective. And, more importantly... Great job, you've completed the first bon boss bonus objective. Complete it twice more to unlock a permanent shortcut to the next area. Okay. Interesting. So when I did practice mode, I didn't get a chance to unlock this second area. So it looks like you have to go back and do that two more times so you can just start here. Which is an interesting choice. Not really sure why they did that. I guess they just really want you to practice and that's a way of doing it. But that also means that if we screw this up... <laughs> We'll be back to square one. The cool thing is, it is procedurally generated, so every time you play, it's going to be different. And that's exciting. None of these courses are, you know, in stone. What you're seeing now, if you decide to get the game and play it, you won't be playing the same thing. Oh, that looks fun between those rocks there. Hooray! Now, as a reminder, you don't have to stick to the trail. There's nothing that says you have to. But... <laughs> You know, it might be a little harder to know exactly where you're supposed to wind up. And also, there's trees, which is going to make things difficult. Um, another thing in my... Oh, God! Oh! Whew! Another thing I noticed in my uh, in my little practice sessions... Lord have mercy! Jeez! 
need to ride around this. I don't have enough speed. Is that uh, sometimes you won't get ones with trails. I actually got a level that was trailless. And it was really neat. I watched the flyover. There's no indication of where the trail is because there is no trail. And it's just like there's a an exit, a finish, down here. Get here however you want. Um, and it was actually difficult because there was bonus objectives of, like, front flips. And there's no ramps. So you have to, like, get enough speed and then make your own ramps. I'm going to carve a little bit. Because we are going to be getting some serious freaking speed. Uh, there's the rocks. We're good. Getting faster. Some of the bonus objectives have also been related to speed. Like you had to hit certain uh, speed marks. And uh, it's exhilarating, but also very frightening. Also, I'm playing um, uh, without, metric, without the metric system. But if you want to use the metric system, you can turn it on. All right, so a steep straight race, a mellow curvy race, and a kinetic track. And it's a kinetic track because that's the riders. That's the team that I'm riding for at the moment, which is kinetic. It's just steep. No stunts, no curves. It's just really steep. Uh, that sounds kind of fun, honestly. Finished within 35 seconds. Okay. I'm a little, I'm a little scared about that, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll give it a shot. See what we're uh, what we got here. It's supposed to be not real curvy, but also this is the forest, man. There, there's enough curves for me to be a little frightened. There's definitely a bend at the beginning. We turn around a little bit more. Yeah, they're not they're not harsh curves, but there's definitely some curves in here. So I'm gonna have to be careful as I make my way down the mountain. And it's super steep, so I'm going to be going quite fast. Overall, not that bad. Let's do it. Now i got to do it within 35 seconds. That is my incentive to go fast. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm on my last life. Oh, crap. I did hit the checkpoint, and I've already... F okay, so that's the thing. I can I can probably slow down here. I, I've failed... Because I crashed, I failed... To finish within 35 seconds. So at this point, I'm, I'm mostly going to be set on finishing. I can't earn an extra life. I'm on my zero life. That's not, that's not so great. Uh, careful. There we go. Here's a good straightaway. I'm up, I'm up to nearly 40 miles an hour. i got to hit the brakes a little bit. Whew. My top speed so far, I think, in the game has been like 65. So, All right. Basic setup. Mellow Curvy Race. Steep. Uh, let's do basic setup so I can attempt to get a uh, bonus life back. It's two front flips I gotta do. If you're if you're low on health, it could be wise to retire before you get really hurt. No, I'm good. I'm good. Last stand. All right. So again, if I want to earn an extra life, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to find a place to insert two front flips. So there's the first front flip. Clean landing. Got to be careful here. Just kind of not accelerating, not pedaling. Just letting the uh, letting the mountain take me. Seems to be a good plan right about now. All right, here we go a little bit faster. Oh, my God! Wow. Wow. So I got through the highlands. Went to the forest. <laughs> I unlocked stuff though because I earned I earned a bunch of rep. So now I'm up to 97.54. I've got pants, shorts. I got a new bike. Sure. And I've been promoted to division three. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. So uh, there's a play. You can actually do it from the menu, but if you want, you can just roll right into the shed. And this is where you change all your stuff. So I got this new cool bike. I've got new cool shorts. Got this cool helmet. Look at me go. Wonderful. That's great. So at this point, um, you know, I've, I've earned rep. Uh, I can, uh, you know, start a new session. And apparently I won't be able to start the forest area until I beat the previous boss jump three times. Which... Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. Because it's procedurally generated, it's not so bad. If it wasn't, then I, I wouldn't... I don't know if I'd like that so much. But the fact that it's going to be a different experience every time you play, and it's not too long, um, is not too bad. But there's four worlds already in the game, and this game is early access. It came out today. 
Um, and uh, the, the developers have said they, they really want to get a lot of feedback from the community to know exactly what to add. Uh, if the developers are watching, I have a suggestion. Um, I really like this game. I knew that I would like it whenever I first heard about the uh, the concept. The, the concept's just great to me. Um, I really, really love the idea of it. One thing I would suggest that I think would be fun is have a mode that is just free ride. It's it's all downhill. Uh, ahead of time, people can choose you know how difficult they want it. They can choose maybe a slider of how steep, how curvy, how stunt filled. It, it, it generates something. Um, and if it would be possible to continually generate something like that on the fly. You don't have a flyover at the beginning. Um, but as you ride, the uh, system continues to generate track. And it basically just lets you ride. And there is no end to it. Uh, I'm assuming that would probably be more difficult to do. But if that's possible, I would love a mode like that. Um, I like the rep system. And I like how the game is now. But I think that that would be really fun to completely zone out and just, you know, play this uh, play this downhill game. So that's that's my input. I don't know if that's a possibility, um, but I think that that would be really cool if you could start at the top of a mountain and just go, see how far you can go, and it would track like your distance to see how you, how far you went, and there'd be different uh, stats and stuff. That'd be really neat. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Descenders is available today on Steam, and I will put a link to the uh, the Steam store in the description. If you have this game, uh, if you you know just picked it up and you've experienced it, uh, let your fellow commenters know what it's like. Maybe you've gotten already to uh, some of the final worlds and have had a chance to spend a little more time with it than I have. Uh, let them know your opinions of the game as well. I love things like this. I think that this is a really cool idea. Um, I love biking games and BMX games. Uh, one of my favorite games, actually, as a kid, was Dave Mira's uh, Freestyle BMX 1 and 2. And uh, being able to have that sort of experience again, except more free, like, it really, it's hard to explain when you're playing, but it feels, it feels like you're playing Skate. Anyone that's played EA Skate, it feels like a biking version of that, and that is a good, good thing. Um, skate is very fun to play. The the bunny hop mechanic in this game, where you, you hold down and you push up, feels so much like skate um and again that's that's something that you want uh it just it feels very natural and i enjoy that but yeah if you played the game be sure to let your uh, fellow commenters know how you feel because uh i'd love to read that as well thanks for watching i'll see you guys next right it's not oh my god i thought that was <laughs> i thought that that was also a ramp that's not that's a wall that is a freaking wall let me see if i can do it Double backflip, clean landing, baby. Oh, uh, 720, not bad. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week for more Steven Plays. First 20. Let's see if I can do a... Stoppy. No, I crashed. I crashed and burned.